Good morning, everyone. Hopefully you are having a great day. Today we are adding another watermark resource because a few people told me the last one I reviewed isn't available anymore. So we are going to go ahead and check out this watermark resource. Pretty much what this does is it allows you to cycle through three different um, types of things. If we watch our little example video here, if you look at the top uh, right hand corner of the screen, you can see it says your server name, then it cycles to your Discord, then it cycles to your logo. So you can kind of set up whatever you want here. Um, there's a tutorial on how to change the font and colors as well if you need that obviously i'm going to keep it the default font and color but you can do whatever you want uh, for your setup and it does um have a good description and everything else no dependencies really easy to sign up and all of that good stuff anyway why don't we just get straight into it on how to install it so all you have to do to install it is come to this resource page located at the top description and go ahead and click where it says direct and then it's also fully open source on github so feel free to edit that as well if you need to make a custom version for your server go ahead and open it up with winzip 7zip winrar whatever you use to open up your files and you can see inside the folder you got the ui the client.lula and the fxmanifest.lula file what you're going to do is you're going to go to wherever your resources are for my setup it's in the server data resources folder if you're on zap hosting it would be through your FTP file access, and if you are on TX admin, it would most likely be in your TX data folder in your C drive. So all you have to do is once you find wherever your resources are, this is a server side script, not client side, you're just going to go ahead and drag in the full folder into your um, server resources directory. And then inside of here, if you can go ahead and edit the client.lula with notepad or notepad++, personally I recommend notepad++. Um, once you're in here, it goes over and tells you where you can change the lines. So you can see uh, if you want to change the font line or the font size, go to the UI.CSS on line 16. So you could find that in here where the UI.HTML and UI.CSS uh, here. You got your diff different um, configure file settings so you can change your server name. So I could say noodles is server or whatever I wanted to say here. Um, if you do do a uh, like an apostrophe like this, you're just going to put two of them to keep it from breaking. If you want to enable your link for your Discord invite, you can do that too. So if I wanted to put my Discord invite, which is actually a whole website URL, so it makes it a little harder, I can do that. Should you have the logo enabled, I don't have my logo on here, I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and set that to false. Go ahead and save the file and I am good to go now. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy the name of the folder or just remember it's simple underscore watermark. But for me, I'm just going to copy it and I'm going to go to wherever my server.csg file is. For me, it's in my server data folder as well. And I'm just going to add um, at the bottom of the default um, list of resources and make sure you're just typing either ensure or start here. And I'm just going to name it simple watermark. I just removed my other resource I had installed, but you can add this below whatever resources you currently have installed. You don't have to delete any. Then all you have to do is go ahead and start your start.bat file or your fxserver.exe file. And as long as you see in the console started resource simple underscore watermark, you know you are good to go. So let's hop in game and look what it looks like. All right, so we are in game here, and you can see at the top right-hand corner, just momentarily, there's my Noodles' server, and there's my Discord link. So, it is in there, it works, we are good to go. Thank you so much for the author for making this free, I really do appreciate it. Um, and thank you all for watching, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and let us know what you want to see in the next video by leaving a comment and letting us uh, have the link to the resource or something, because it really helps me out finding these. Anyway, thanks so much for hanging out with me, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.